Hello, would you please present yourselves and tell us much more about uh, the mission of the Vakim Foundation and the main activities of the Foundation. I'm Zyfen and I'm on an internship on the Wacken Foundation. Um, this is Marcel. Yeah, my name is Marcel. I've done my internship uh, at the Wacken Foundation as well five years ago and I'm just supporting every year the Wacken Foundation and during the festival I'm here to prepare everything and organize everything. Yeah. Yeah, and the Wacken Foundation is there to support young hard rock and heavy metal bands. Or not just young bands, but also every other musician who somehow wants to keep the music alive and needs support to do so. Because lots of bands don't have the money to produce their CDs or to go on tour. So then they come to us and ask for help and then we see what we can do. Would you please uh, tell us more about uh, the Vakim Foundation Festival Tour this year or in the previous one? Um, this year there was a lot of new stuff going on. Uh, we were at the Kieler Woche also, that's a big fair in Kiel. Um, and we were at the Radio Bob Rock Camp where we had our tent and put up the Wacken history and told people what we are doing and um, collecting the money so we can support bands. And that was quite a different thing than we do usually because it was for 10 days. So we were 10 days out of the office, always at the fair, um, doing our job and promote what we are doing. So in general we go on different festivals all over Europe pretty much and we uh, yeah, just present us there and play some games to uh, get some money in to finance everything and yeah to just show up and tell the people what we are doing to find new bands which we can support and to find yeah new supporter who want to yeah. support us. Yeah. Could you please name a few of the young bands you supported? I know there are hundreds but the last ones <laughs> Um, the latest ones are, for example, High Fighter, who are playing at Wacken also. They play today. Um, then we have Stormseeker, who opened the Dong Open Air three weeks ago at the Saturday. They make pirate metal. That was pretty awesome. The people were totally into it. Um, then we got Words of Farewell. They already have their 10 years anniversary in two weeks. So we're going there to congratulate them. Um, then we got a, some, they're all German bands from what I said now. We also have Sündenrausch, um, they're also female fronted. There are some of them. And then of course we have Rampart. And uh, yeah, then we have lots of bands. We also have some uh, bands from Brazil, Brazil or okay, I don't know the USA some from New York uh, all over the world it grows bigger and bigger we get more and more applications from other countries and uh, we're not just in Germany so everyone gets more aware of us and it's pretty cool to see how it grows and how bands from all over the world apply to us and ask for help that shows how important it is what we do because there are no not much places you can go to to get the support we give. Uh, besides the young bands, uh, uh, what are projects you are supporting? Festivals or something else? <laughs> um, we have like a, a couple of festivals where we are into it, but it's just mainly we present ourselves. So we don't really um, support like one festival or one specific concert or one spe specific project. We have like a, a, a few little things, projects, and we always present it. Um, yeah, the Wacken Foundation there, like the Wacken Music Camp and stuff like that. So we are there, we show up, and but it's not our project like on its own. Yeah, yeah. we have like the festival tour. It's pretty much the biggest one because it's like. Yeah, there's so many festivals and concerts and projects like the Kieler Woche or like other festivals in Austria or we've been in the UK and stuff like that. So that's that's yeah, pretty 
pretty good that we can show up everything but everywhere but we don't have like actual projects where we're into it where we just support one festival or something like that yeah and then we got um the f small festivals we support are mostly concert projects of bands we already supported who are like hey we want to set something up often also with other supported bands they come together and build something that's pretty cool to see um, and then they have small festivals like Surface from Hamburg they're organizing the Unleash the Kraken festival um, and we'll, we will go there and present ourselves and see how they're going it's the six times now that they're doing it and yeah so we have things like that also but mostly it's for to support or CD productions and sometimes also equipment if they need better instruments or amps. Yeah our project here on the Wacken, yeah, on the Wacken Open Air on the festival is our um, art tent so we have like a tent with full of art so musicians, artists who are not just doing music or who are not just just interested into music they are also painting or doing like different stuff we have like a feed of hell contest for example they have to do like a, on the drums have like a competition and stuff like that so that's like a project in the project so that's our thing here what we're doing so we support those those kinds of artists as well and they support us yeah. in this way Tell me more about the cooking <laughs> yeah exactly the cooking for example that's all, all the same yeah 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 that's all part of it yeah yeah we have the cooking school is right over there, so you can't see it now, but there's the tent of them. And we have meet and eat this year with different artists. Yesterday, Aaron Hammer from Annihilator joined us. He did all three cooking courses and everyone was pretty excited and I think he loved it too. It was, it was pretty cool to see everyone was, everyone was enjoying themselves. Um, today we had steak number eight, tomorrow Beyond the Black will join us for the meet and eat and then we also have the survival cooking courses where they show the people pretty cool dishes. You, can, you could also just cook with your camping equipment. So that's the idea of it. Like when you go to the Wacken and you want real good food and you just have your camp equipment, you can still cook like a pretty good dish. Pretty, just, uh, pretty much, pretty huge and great food. <laughs> and they all, uh, all the money they earn with that, they, um, they, uh, yeah, we all, we get the what's whole the word? money of it. Like, yeah. That's they, all in the Wacken Foundation. It goes all to the Wacken yeah, Foundation. And straight all into the support. Yeah. All of the money would. Yeah. We generate in here. Who are yeah. the people behind the foundation? Uh, yeah. Musicians, journalists. Who are these great people who made this great foundation helping the young bands? Um, so, right now, here in the foundation camp, we have right now at that moment 45 volunteers helping us they are all mostly heavy metal fans um our bands we supported yeah, so we also. support bands and they want to say yeah thank you Wacken foundation so they come every year to us and yeah. then they're collecting like cans and for the deposit and they like on a um we have different parts here, like the info information container we do, we have like they just yeah there to, to, to yeah to, to say thank you to us to so support us during the, the open air and yeah that's that's the people we do have during the open air so these volunteers and then we are like this Marcus yeah this Marcus he's he's now kind of head of foundation yeah. he's the project manager now um, yeah he's the main person behind yeah. it at the moment and then we have like yeah you're doing your internship at the moment and like to prepare this whole foundation camp and stuff we need a, f a couple of people just in yeah just before the festival like to prepare everything so I've, i'm here now for four weeks so and yeah but i'm going home after the open air so i'm just here for that time to prepare it yeah and then we also have our creators who also do it voluntarily those are all people who are um who know the music scene like we have Doro Pesh as one of our curators 
uh, than Anno from Enorm Music. It's Aim. like a music label in there yeah. and a music producer and stuff like that. So people who are have a good knowledge about the music, yeah. the music, the music uh, and genre. And those are the people who look at the applications of the band and they have a good eye for if the band calculates all right, if they see, yeah, okay, they think it costs that much, that's about right, and they think they get that much money out of band merge. Like some bands are a little bit over the top and expecting more to come than there probably will be. So then they talk to them and say, hey, yeah, can you look at that point again? Can you work it over? And then they decide if the band gets supported. And oh. they just have a look if it's if they take it serious. So if the band who applies for like a loan or something like that, if they take it serious, or if they just want to have the money to I don't know go on a tour but don't really keep their their music like serious and and not really sure if they if that's really yeah. what they want to do. So that's what they're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. They're checking if the band was active last weeks, years, whatever, and if the band barely did anything they're like yeah okay um i don't know skeptical it's normal to manage yeah. the risk <laughs> yeah. yeah actually and what is your message to the young bands who someday will find vacuum foundation as my band founded it don't give up <laughs> yeah don't give up just try it even if you play like in front of five people it doesn't matter just play and hope that yeah. you get like, more famous and try to yeah find some help. Yeah, I mean, every big band started as a small one. Yeah. They all started in a garage or something, and they all had to work their way up and fight for it. And if you love what you're doing, I think... Um, there's a way, there's always a way. There's a way, yeah. And also, some bands don't want to get that big. They're like happy if they are known in their neighborhood or the next cities and I think you should know you should be focused on where you want to head if you want to be a full-time musician or if it just just should be the hobby yeah. you earn a li little bit money with and just the thing you love so you don't lose um, the love for it thank you very much anything else you want to no, I just, uh, I hope we get more applications and I hope some people will see it and think, hey, that's a cool thing to do, I want to support it. Um, because people can always, um, oh God. You can support us, like, yeah. not just with money, you can support us in any kind yeah. of way. So you if can you're into a music uh, scene, you can just support us in any kind yeah. of way. Like. As long as you just think the Wacken Foundation is a good thing and I want to help, uh, help musicians, yeah. you're welcome to help. Just send us an email and yeah. we will find a way if you want to support us. Ask if you can volunteer or like if you're an artist, not just a musician but an artist. We have artists who are like, hey, I, I've got a painting and I want to give it to you. And then like right now at the Wacken Open Air in the Artist Village, we have a little booth where the artists can sign it and then we auction it and all we earn through the auction also goes into the support for the metal bands we have like so a band we supported they doing like a musician school so they help people to play an instrument and yeah they teach them stuff like that so you can help in any way yeah, yeah. whatever you yes. can think of <laughs> that you. might help thank you thank you